Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 201, Nasdaq's off 208, S&P's down 52. Gold, gold contract trading down $52.20 at 18.78 an ounce. We had silver off $1.21, $22.40. Light sweet crude off 261, $73.28 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note down a full point, plus three ticks, trading at 114. 14. You have the 30 off a full point, plus 22 at 130.03. And they got the yield right now, a uh, 10-year yield at 3.526. And King Dollar finally got off the lows. The bottom line, King Dollar right now uh, is trading up 11.74, 102.924. The euro is at 108. The yen is out there at a price point of 1031. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over and we take a look. We're going to take a look at the weeklies first because what you're going to have here, you get to the top of the range, couldn't handle price. Bottom line, I, can, I really should just go to the dollar because it's all about the dollar, man. It's all about the dollar, and yeah, we're still in a bear market. But we take a look at the SPY first. We'll put this up, and you're going to see it quite clearly. Now, watch this. When I put this on the weekly, what you're going to see here, I spot, I don't, I'm not sure it was the SPY. Or was the, yeah, you, you have a failure, and it's going to be on lighter volume. Look at this. This is pretty amazing, actually. So, well, actually, we'd have to close under uh, 410, 410.29. I don't think it's going to close underneath that. But anyway, you can see what we're going into. Last time we were up here, we had 546 million shares. Well, we did 429, okay? It looks like, it, what's always so intriguing about this is that, you know, you look like you're coming up, you look like you can blow it away, and then guess what? Well, right now, you're shot by what? That's 100, you're shot by 120 million shares. And... You know, it's still over that high, which says that, okay, you can mess around and, you know, go after it again. I don't think it's going to, but that's what that does say. We go into the Qs. We take a look at the NDX 100. You do the same type of setup in the NDX. Now, what's so cool about the NDX, the NDX went to the next swing point and failed. That's what the NDX actually did. The swing it was trying to get into up here was that swing from uh, 311. And it got into it. Uh, bottom line, couldn't hold it. You know, so we'll see where that, sh that shows. There's divergence. Inside the queues, that being said, meaning that, yeah, you're pulling back, but you still have higher price with volume. And we're just going to cut to the chase and go over to the dollar. Because if you take a look at the dollar, you know, the, the correlation is direct. Bottom line, you know, the first day, remember, what happened here? Tuesday, it got over. That was the first day I got over. Now, this is, this is over the consolidation with conviction. I'd say the bounce is on. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.